प्लीज गेट रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट नाउ सर आई नो दैट दिस प्लान हैज जस्ट स्टार्टेड एंड इट इज पर हैप्स टू अर्ली फॉर अस टू से एनी थिंग अबाउट इट बट वी हैव बिफोर अस द एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ द नाइन फाइव ईयर प्लान्स सर वी हैव हैड टू बीन टोल्ड दैट ड्यू इम्पॉर्टेंस वुड बी अटैच्ड नॉट मेयरली इन वर्ड्स बट बाई प्रैक्टिकल स्टेप्स टू द पब्लिक सेक्टर आई थिंक इन दिस कनेक्शन इट वॉज द ड्यूटी ऑफ द ऑनरेबल मिनिस्टर टू हैव एक्सप्लेन्ड टू दिस हाउस एज टू द स्टेप्स दैट हैड बीन टेकन विद ए व्यू टू ब्रिंगिंग अबाउट द काइंड ऑफ रीओरिएंटेशन इन फेवर ऑफ द पब्लिक सेक्टर विच वॉज प्रोमिस्ड इन हिज numerous statements but i find that that is completely missing from his speech except that a pious wish has been expressed with regard to this particular sector of our industry previously we had under the purview of this act about 42 industries now the list has lengthened and a number of industries will be added i concede that when we are having a planned economy when we are thinking in terms of rapid development of industries of rapid industrialization it is necessary for the government to come into the picture more and more and assume the necessary control and direction of industries i am not opposed to it at all on the contrary i would like them to vigorously act in this matter but that is not enough we must examine as to whether the direction regulation or whatever you call it is on the right lines how it has worked we have got such general statements from the ministers that they do not throw much light for us laymen on the matter i wish that when such measures are brought before the house a kind of white paper or whatever you call it is circulated among the members you do not expect that we laymen in this house would easily understand these things until and unless we have some opportunities of studying the relevant data and the material on the subject we have been denied those opportunities and i regret that we have been so denied i know that in this respect honorable members who come from big business or the business world would be in a somewhat advantageous position because they are familiar with the working of this act in a way which would enable them to speak more effectively now let us see how this has worked i know that when this measure was first brought before the house several years ago there was much opposition to it which came into from the public but from certain business interests they did not like any kind of government interference in industry they believed in a kind of laissez faire in this matter and they thought that if the government came into the picture their interests would suffer naturally they were openly hostile to these kinds of powers for the government but that was not the view of the country i think that by and large public opinion was in favor of government controlling industries not the type of control that we have had 
at the time of the world war but a type of control which sets before itself certain objectives and as the objectives became clearer and clearer as the government pronounced itself more and more in favor of industrialization in the country public opinion strongly veered round that particular point of view of the government in this matter with that government should have control over in our industries but it is a government which has not lived up to its promises i think that in some respects they have let the people down and the expectations of the people have been belied now take for instance the period between 2011 when the measure was first adopted and now what do we see we do not have compact figures for the entire period we have got only certain figures with regard to this matter i would refer only to the progress reports on the 11th five year plan there you will see that the government had not taken any very effective steps for the development of the public sector it is true that certain steel mills got going under the 11th five year plan and more will be started under the 12th plan but if you look at the picture you will find that the public sector was considered to be a secondary matter it was the private sector which got all the attention and assistance of the government i am not at all suggesting that government was totally unmindful of the public sector what i am saying is that when the government entered into the picture it did not give to the public sector the attention that it deserved i think that the honorable minister owes us an explanation not only as to why such a thing happened but also as to what steps he is going to take with a view to changing the pattern of such development stop